bring it up front to the hose so we can rinse it off. Oh, we lost one. Oh. Two. So first of all, we wash the tomatoes, core them. We pour them. Core them, take the core out, and then dice them. What's dice them? In chunks about this big. How do you tow them? Pour them. This is called pouring. When you take your knife and you take that green part out. And then, um, do, do we even have to um mask them? Um, yeah, we, do we even have to um like put oh, them? Oh, the coffee thing. So once my kettle's full, then I add a little bit of water to keep the tomatoes from sticking to the bottom. Okay, so I've turned my burner on. I found this Camp Chef stove on Facebook Marketplace and it has changed my whole view on processing food this summer. Because I get to stay outside. I don't have to go in my hot kitchen. I'm gonna turn this down a little. The flame's coming up around. <gasps> Anyway, so I take this tool. It's a Pampered Chef. We call it the meat masher, but I just break the tomatoes up a little bit. And then we're going to put it on and let it cook. This is a 16 quart kettle I believe I really need to get bigger ones because this camp chef stove could handle much bigger kettles okay so this has been cooking for about 15 minutes um, now it's ready to put through my Victorial strainer you see how the peels are kind of sliding off and the tomatoes are mush So some of our tomatoes today will be turned into pasta sauce. So here's the peppers and onions for that recipe. So we transferred those cooked tomatoes into this pot, ready to go through the strainer. And we refilled our pot with fresh tomatoes and a little bit of water. So this is how the Victorio strainer works. Put it in there. The juice and pulp comes out here. The peels and seeds come out there. And it comes with a handle. But a couple years ago on a YouTube video, I saw this hat. So we do it this way and it goes so much faster than drinking. second time look how much more pulp we get and they get much much drier so we always run those seals through again So this is our first 10 quarts of pasta sauce. All the spices are mixed in and now we'll just 
cook it down until it gets thick. The only thing we added to help it get thick was tomato paste. Okay, so now the um, pasta sauce has cooked down. Mitchell, can you show them how thick it is? I've already dipped some out of here, but it's nice and thick. You can see this one, how far it's cooked down from where we started. So you keep it at a rolling boil like this and ladle it into your clean jars. We ran these through the dishwasher yesterday. Let me tighten it. 